Boating enthusiasts, welcome to my channel. I got a Roello fishing vessel here I want to show you guys. I'm going to do a walk around and a quick walk in to give you guys a good look at what these things look like up close and personal. Obviously you got your Yamaha four stroke. It's a 115, very big motor, very big motor. And let's read out uh, the schematics on it here. The 2017 Roblo R180 Yamaha, it priced at 45420 base package including uh, powered Yamaha 115 XB with 3 plus 2 Yamaha protection plan. Package includes custom match aluminum trailer with disc brakes. Not too bad. Now, let's look at the length. It's 18, 18 feet 4 inches. Beam is 8. Uh, the dead rise is 18 inches. Fuel capacity is uh, 50 gallons, 2,600 pounds roughly. So make sure you get a trailer for it, proper trailer. Maximum power is 150 horse. And it comes with standard features, a 10-year 10 10 -year limited hull warranty, port composite uh, transient coring for the body, uh, base sitter hydraulic steering, aluminum framed uh, acrylic widescreen, forward access inside console, um, lighted high-speed compass. That's, I find that very important sometimes, you know. Uh, Yamaha digital gauges, also sometimes very important depending on what time of night you're out. Uh, stainless steel, uh, grab rails, stainless steel uh, drink holders, brushed, adionized, uh, leaning post, 72 quart cooler beneath the um, leaning post. Cooler, very important because a lot of people have to retrofit their boats to fit a cooler. Blue LED cockpit, ATF jump seat, diamond luster skid surfaces, upright level foam flotation, inserted bow storage and overboard drain, very important too. And then it also comes with uh, live well 15 gallons, stainless steel steering wheel, 12 volt dash recipro reciprocal, co uh, cockpit side combing bolster, self balling cockpit with drains, billy pump with uh, automatic switch, fuel water, navigation lights, tinned wiring, uh, waterproof connectors, aluminum switch panel with circuit breakers, anchor road chain locker bow, uh, heavy duty. Uh, rub, rub rail with stainless steel inserts, stainless steel um, cleats, uh, three-step teles telescoping broading ladder, and dedicated uh, boarding ladder. So this is it here. That's the uh, asking price in Canadian dollars. I'm going to give you guys this this thing. This baby here has 150 horses, 115. Um, it's mounted your typical hydraulic way there, uh, clamped on just like so. I'm gonna go up it and give you guys a good look at the inside here. Here's your dedicated ladder that you'll find, which is very good and always to, great to have on board. Oh, there's a cooler there. Oh, let's take a look at here. What you got here? There you go. You can put stuff in there, obviously. Cup holders, like they mentioned, very good, very good material. Seats, obviously, fold for more storage below drainage over here for your um, you know what those are for guys guys that fish you know what they're for and let me give you a, a look at the cockpit here I like this boat a lot it's definitely one I would like to own for fishing you got your uh, compass lights up here you got a lot of um, all your switches here going on so you got your tack here, your speed, your fuel, cup holders, you got your, um, wow this steering wheel is nice and tight, nice feeling to it, you got your throttle here, sorry about the uh, announcement, um, they, they, they give out the announcements here, extremely slow, it's a nice little setup here, I could barely touch the floor, that's one good thing about it is when I'm sitting on this chair, I'll give you a look at it from here, I'm 5'9", 5'10", and I can't touch the floor on this thing, which is nice. You're sitting up like a little boy. Here's the front of the boat. Nice little uh, compartment up front here. You got your uh, little seating area here when you're fishing and you're drinking and having fun or whatnot. You got your storage here, which is completely sealed. And it's vacuum sealed too. You can see the vacuum seal right there, guys. Really good vacuum seal, really good 
cup holder somewhat is kind of blocked here but now you got you get space there for the two cup holders not too bad at all and you got a storage right in front you could uh, this is walkable you could walk on this to tie up your uh, tie up your boat but the uh, seating is uh, very comfortable here in the front it's got I call these holy crap bars because when you're going so fast you hold them I've been on some of these things going 50 60 70 miles per hour from um, Fort Lauderdale I've been on one of these actually going from Fort Lauderdale to uh, to Bimini Island very very nice setup I really like the um, the whole uh, setup here with touchscreen the touchscreen is really nice I enjoy this this very much especially when you were uh, navigating and stuff um, definitely has Bluetooth I could tell because there's lots of GPS uh, set up, but it's a touch screen. Unfortunately, it's disabled. You got a home button here. You got your um, menu button here that opens up your menu. It's got a fish finding uh, program. It's got a radar. It's got um, it's got charts that you could uh, save from past uh, fishing areas that you visited. The compass is. I, I just like the setup up here. You could put your keys, your wallet up here. You could just go out and out and about and just drive it almost like it's a car. You know what I'm saying? And obviously the fuel is located. Fuel fill is obviously to the left of the um, of the uh, of the craft and the vessel. And it's a, I've noticed the left is always a good side to have your fuel um, tank on. Uh, majority of the places, right is a bit harder. I've noticed that from experience filling up at different stations. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think. I'm going to do a walk around on the outside, give you a better walk around on the um, the Rablo. So it comes with a 10-year warranty, eight consecutive awards, door-built construction system. So let me get off this vessel and I'm going to go walk around for you guys here a few minutes. Let me get down here. So let me walk around it for you guys. I'm gonna brag my coffee here before it gets cold. Rablo has always been one of my more favorite vessels to fish with. The undercarriage there looks really good. Very strong undercarriage. I love the seamless design. Really nice. The colors uh, differentiate the differences between. Uh, different parts of the boat. I like it. I think I give this star definitely uh I give this boat this vessel usually a five star rating every time I see her and she gets better every year. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Don't forget the subscribe button for more for more uh reviews. Thanks for watching guys.